One day on Soto, James was napping in a siding. He had just finished his work and now has the evening off. Then Samad came by. Hello, James, said Sam. How's it going? It's going good, said James. Nothing has happened yet. I'm just glad I get a peaceful nap. Then there was trouble. What was that? said Sam. I, I don't know, said James. I'm gonna go get to the bottom of this thing. I'll be back. Stanley, Rosie, and Flynn were resting in the sheds with the dog Ruffro. Just then, James raced in. Everybody, said James, get your equipment gear. There's no rest for the 005 team. There's an explosion on this island. We have to go see what's going on. All right, everybody, let's go. Move, move, move. It wasn't long before the gang found a cloaked man. I know it's you, Sir Trumpum Hat, said James. Let's have a fight to the death. You aren't going to win this time. And neither will you, pouty James. <clears throat> Don't ever do that to our leader again. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> that was really easy. I took you all out like you were something. None of you could stop me. We we will stop you, said James. Because the 005 team never gives up. We always speak out. We're going to win, Sir Trump Hand. You're going to lose. We do we have a fight or not? Hey Sir Trump I'm Hat came a voice. Who said that? Can you beat this? <clears throat> Dryden, said James. You came to the rescue. Yes, I did, said Dryden. By the way, do you like my diamond sword? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, well, look what I can do with this. Haha, uh -huh, I cut Sir Trump and Hat's hand off. Dryden, look out! <sighs> Silly kid. And you! I'm going to tear you apart. <clears throat> None of you stand a chance against me. No one does. But I do, came a voice. Sir Topham Hat. I thought you'd show up. You didn't bring your phone. You didn't bring your briefcase. Looks like you're just, we're gonna fight. Hand to hand combat. Is that what you want? All you've been doing is eating donuts and bossing your engines around. You don't fight like me. Oh, you made a mistake now, said Sir Topham Hat. Way to go, Sir Topham Hat, said Stanley. You're really awesome at fighting, said James. Thank you, everybody. But there's something you've also underestimated me about. And what is that, says Sir Topham Hat? Making tricky tricks. Behind you is a nuclear bomb. If you guys can't stop that in two minutes, the person in it will die. How much time does that thing last? It lasts about... Three minutes. And now you only have like three minutes and fifty seconds left. Time's ticking. Dryden, said James, do you know how to stop a nu do you know how to stop a nuclear bomb? I don't know, said Dryden. I can't just crush it with my diamond sword, then my diamond sword will be gone. And I won't have any other weapon to defend myself. I think I know how to, said Sir Totten Hat. I'm a master at hacking. But this is going to be pretty tricky. Now I can just sneak away and no one will notice me. Hey, get back here, said Rosie. Oh, shoot. Uh, oof. Ow, that hurts. You're not escaping anywhere, said Rosie. You're coming back with us. No, no, no. Ow. Hey, watch it. Ah, 
Sir Trumpum hath tried to escape us, said Rosie. Trumpum, said Stanley. How do we stop this bomb? I'm not telling you. You're going to tell us now, said Rosie. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Sir Topham Hat. Um, it's fine, said Rosie. Anyways, I have to get back to doing this. <clears throat> I want to fight you all. No one gets out of here. No one's going to get out alive. It's just me and James. Let it be settled then, said James. Any last words, brother? Don't kill me, said Sir Trump Matt. We're brothers. You wouldn't want to kill someone with your same blood. That is a tough choice. But you tried to kill my engines, and that's not how my brother would act like that. Oh, but brother, I... <laughs> I guess he's gone, said James. I hope so, said Sir Topham Hat. Stanley, did you stop it? said Sir Topham Hat. Almost. Almost. I got it! The nuclear bomb has been stopped! Yay! We saved the world, said Dryden. We're heroes today. We're not just really useful. We're ultimate heroes. The 005 team never gives up. You're right, Dryden, said James. We did save the world. You guys thought it was over. Oh no. Sir Tom had that punch you did didn't even help. I'm still alive. I feel indestructible. In the end, we'll only just be... Oh! What happened? said Sir Top Matt. I knocked him out with my tender, and he fell on a Lamborghini. So he is now truly gone. No one else can resurrect him. He's no longer able to harm us, Sir Top Matt. Sodor is now safe. And Rosie, I thank you for helping us save the world today. And there's just something I want to say. Will you make me the happiest steam engine and marry me? I will, said Rosie. Why'd they have to do that right now? said Stanley. Oh, that's just James, said Dryden. That night, James and Rosie went up to the top of a mountain cliff and looked at the island of Sodor. Sodor has never looked so beautiful before, said Rosie. It really does look beautiful, said James. And right now, I just feel very happy to be a steam engine who lives on the island of Sodor with many friends and my new wife.